Instead, um, I was given to a, <coughs> a different area and was told that I should work with uh, Lawrence Rubin in the area of immunology. Now, Larry Rubin was, uh, is an interesting man, and he had been an embryologist uh, by training. He was one of these, um, at the time, it was spectacular to take Larry Rubin's embryology course because he was one of these people who could draw simultaneously with each hand. So he would stand at the, at the blackboard in those days with two different colors of chalk, and he would draw development, you know. So he, here's the blastocyst, and he would draw with the right and left hand at the same time, different strike. I mean, it was quite astonishing to watch. Um, and he had decided, I mean, having been an embryologist, which was a, an area of enormous interest, uh, having been an embryologist for a number of years, he decided that he wanted to pursue those studies into immunology, which was related because um, the, the issue of tissue specification and how, how one could distinguish self from non-self was something that was important in embryological, embryological terms as well. So he had done a sabbatical with Dick Dutton uh, at San Diego uh, and had taken, this was in the very early days of trying to understand the distinctions between T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes and that T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes could in fact cooperate to give rise to more potent immune responses. Um, and uh, he came back from that and said, well, what we're going to do is we're going to um, look in amphibians to see if we can identify the same kinds of phenomena uh, in amphibians. And we'll do that in salamanders and uroideals and in true frogs and this sort of thing. And th this is a, a perfectly reasonable kind of thing for someone with a strong background in embryology who understands amphibians very well, has worked on them a lot, and is working at a small private liberal arts college and can't afford the kind of enormous investment even then. Um, in mammalian studies. I, on the other hand, had no interest in these amphibians, did not want to study amphibia immunology, and was really interested in then, even then, uh, though I couldn't have articulated it this way, I was really interested in that interface between synthetic organic chemistry and biology, even molecular biology, though that wasn't the term that was used then.